Hi, this is Brooke. I have the J-Wings Vampire here. It was built from a kit given to me by my friend. Great flying airplane. Uh, flown it twice. First time uh, Maiden, uh, one of the aileron servos came loose and uh, it, it, it eventually landed, but no damage. Last week, it was tail heavy, I believe. I think the battery fell back a little bit and maybe during the climb out and so it flew okay it was always rolling to the left that may be the aileron issue uh, which is now fixed and also uh, I believe again the battery came loose and it just kind of fell out of the sky uh, thought it landed on its belly but it landed on the nose so the nose was crunched badly All right. oh yeah here's the nose okay good I still have the nose so here's the original nose <laughs> so yeah uh, not not good so I made mine a little bit longer. Uh, here's the original nose compared to mine. So mine's a little bit longer. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So I made my nose removable. My friend that I flew with said that might be a good idea. Uh, so here it comes off. Get it off with one hand. You can see this is a, a better, well, I think a, a good idea for a battery hatch instead of going up through the hatch on the bottom this is now all taped up what well, one advantage of painting in plain silver is you can use duct tape to cover up the imperfections <laughs> so there's a paint stick uh, about six inches the whole piece of foam board on the bottom is about six inches uh, two inches back into the plane maybe two and a half three and a half in front sticking out and I'm going to use a 2200 today. Last time I used an 1800. I have a big honking motor on the back end. So need some counterweight up front. And going to do that today when we fly it. Try to get a video and post it also. But secured by magnets. There's the one on bottom. Right there. The one on top. And then one under the canopy. See it there. And then the corresponding magnets are here, here, and here. And again it just... Well, if I can get it with one hand again, here. And it just pops back on like that securely. It's not going to come off. Hopefully it won't come off during flight. We'll see. Anyway, so that's my idea for a removable nose. Maybe a good idea. Uh, if you have any questions about that, uh, how I designed it, uh, drop me a message. Have a good day. Happy landings.